to Tamara's Lunchbox Thursday edition. One more day. One more day and it's the weekend. I'm excited. And we're getting uh, a potential inclement weather coming back. Some more, some more snow. I think some sleet with this. I don't think it's just snow like last uh, Friday. But, oh well. We're in winter time. That's what happens sometimes. We had a, which we've been due because we have had some very mild winters last couple of years. So we were due to keep having this kind of stuff. So, and I have croutons. Oh, I didn't show you what I was having first. <laughs> I have croutons. <laughs> I can get this bowl open. Um, you know, we went to Kristen's game last night. So, when we left, um, we just grabbed Zaxby's. So, I have a Zaxby's Fried House Salad again. With their ranch. So, but today, I was like, I'm going to put some croutons in that. I just had a little taste for some croutons. So, I'm going to eat them. And I'm not sure if, uh, I don't think I said it yesterday, but I did do my weigh-in Wednesday yesterday, and I was uh, 2.4 pounds down. So, pretty good being the uh, week I had last week, and I didn't really pay too much attention to what I was eating. I just ate, so pretty good. I, I was very happy with myself. So we'll see if I can do even better this week. But anyway, all right, let's get some ranch on this. I don't have anywhere to put it. I'll put it on top of my lid. So how's your Thursday going? Is it going good? Mine's pretty good. It did uh, start off a little stressful, but has since calmed down. That is something, y'all, I am really trying to learn to not let things bother me, but it's hard. When you have a stressful kind of personality, I guess that you could call it, it's hard. It's hard to just let things go and not let things bother you and, you know, it just is. You can try and, you know, and there's some days it's better than other days. I don't know why that is either. Like, there's some days things bother me that... The next, day, the next day or the next time the exact same thing happens or whatever, it doesn't bother me at all. But then there's other times you have a complete meltdown. So, it's just hard. It's hard to, to just let things go the way people say you should. But. All right, let me get another picture with the dressing on it. Get that out of the way. Got our thumbnail for this video. So, uh, but yeah, she did really good at the game last night. She ended up having to get pulled at, uh, with two minutes left to go. Um, they were up 10 to 28, I think it was. Something like that. A good enough lead that she didn't have to stay in the game. Um, but the score ended up being 18 to 28. I think it was 18 to 28 by the end of the game. So, so they're 5-0 and oh now. It's all the games I've got in. It seems like they've played more games than that. And, I mean, we're a complete two months now in the season. It's only been five games. It, it seems like it was more, but I guess not.
but she got a three. Um, she made a couple shots, but she didn't have many points last night. She was doing more uh, getting people set up, and they were making the points. It doesn't matter who makes all the points as long as you win, right? <laughs> it's not all about winning. It's about being a team and playing the game. But it is more fun to play when you win. Yeah, so we just grabbed Zaxby's last night. After the game, because the kids were staying to watch, because they'd done all four teams played last night. So, they stayed to watch the other three teams. But, so I was like, let's just grab Zaxby's. Quick, easy, and then I have lunch. I've ever put croutons in a Zaxby salad. I like it. Hmm. I really like that. Oh, and y'all, you know, I've been watching Dallas. Well, I finished season three yesterday. Started season four, but I didn't get very far. But if you remember, um, season three, at the end of the season, is when JR got shot. So, I'm going to find out who, who shot JR. He made a lot of people mad in that season finale. <laughs> hmm. There could have been a list of a bunch of people. Could have been anybody on that list. <laughs> hmm. I like watching old shows like that. For one, like I told you the other day, it's a little sentimental because I just remember being around my grandma and watching it. Things like that. I just don't remember the the storyline of everything. That's that's why I like rewatching it now because now I get things. I understand more. But there's no hidden agenda in it. You know, I mean, I really think, I got to thinking about it the other day and I thought, you know, I think that's why TV is just not fun to watch anymore. Yeah, you've got some shows that are pretty good and all that, but it's like there's a hidden agenda in everything. They're pushing something, the way you should think, the way you should accept this and accept that and all that. And it, it's not why I'm watching TV. I just want to watch. Hang on a second. Let me take this phone call. Hi, welcome back. <laughs> That didn't seem like long to y'all, but but it was. Okay. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So, but there's no hidden agenda in the old shows. You know, nobody was trying to push their thought process on you. Nobody was telling you how to think and how to feel and what shouldn't bother you and what you should accept and all the ugh. just do some storytelling that's all the reason i'm watching tv 
So, but really, I, I thought about that. And I thought, you know, I think that's why I enjoy older shows. Because it literally was just made for enjoyment. It was not made to sit there and, you know, tell a hidden agenda. Make you feel like you're you're not thinking the right way and all. It just, ugh. But I really do think that's why I enjoy all the old shows. I really do. But anyway. But it has been fun to watch that show. It really has. So I have enjoyed it. Um it has um of the original series there's fourteen seasons. So like I said, I just started four, so I've got a ways to go. But that's okay. I enjoy it. And I thought I had found my um, my dream job today. But turned out I am uh, I'm too extra. I like to have things. Uh, I like to have money. <laughs> So it's not going to work out. Uh, but anyway, it was to be a um, character at Disney. Couldn't you see that? I could. I really could. Don't you think? But. Doesn't pay enough money to pay the bills. So. Or I guess I'll have to pass. But I do think it would be fun, though. Because <laughs> I wouldn't want to be a princess or nothing. I don't look like any of them. But I could be one that you have to have the whole body, the whole suit. I could do that. But like I said, it doesn't pay enough money, so. Oh well. And I don't know why it's a big range in price either. <laughs> It was like, I think Google said it was 12 to $20 an hour. And I'm thinking $12? To be in that suit in Florida? Mm. So I don't know why there's a range. I don't know what the difference is. But when I saw that, I was like, It would have been cool to have done when I was younger. I'm telling you. And we had Google when I was younger. And starting out and stuff like that. Mm. I would have had all kinds of jobs. I have so much interest, you know, in different things.
but it doesn't they're like a wide span of interest. That's my problem. It's not in a particular field or anything like that. You know, back before Christmas, that's why I bought my swim cap. I'm gonna become a professional swimmer. <laughs> and I am still gonna work on that, but I won't be a professional. But I do have interest in swimming. Then I have interest in being a character at Disney. I like making cupcakes, sweets. Could be a baker. Then I wanna, I wanna have a hot dog um, food truck. I wanna do that. I mean, I'm just all over the place. That's why the. That's why Brian says he just lets me say, say this stuff. He's like, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> He had to learn real quick. Just let you talk this stuff. <laughs> I really, honest to goodness, had no idea I'd done that. Until he pointed it out to my daddy. And... When he told Daddy that we were going to go camping, and Daddy looked at him, he's like, you sure about that? <laughs> Daddy's like, mm. she told you that? And he said, yeah, she mentioned wanting to go in a tent, wanting to go camping. And Daddy was like, oh, okay. Have you been? <laughs> I was like, well, no. Daddy's like, mm, you're not going camping. <laughs> I was like, but I done pulled my tents out. I done got the sleeping bags. I done get... <laughs> Daddy's like, she ain't going camping. Oh, gosh. And Brian said, that's when he learned. He was like, mm, okay. So you just say this stuff. <laughs> Idea comes in my head, and then I just say it. Yeah, it sounds like fun. And it's like, okay, you want to go camping? No. I won't do that. Who's going camping? <laughs> oh, gosh. That was hilarious. But, yeah, I had no idea. My parents knew. They had lived with me all my life. They knew I talk this nonsense. And then they're just like, okay. But yeah, Brian was just in shock. I thought we were going camping. I was like, I'm going camping. Nah. <laughs> it's like that thing I've seen it on TikTok. Like, no, I was a different person then. <laughs> it's exactly what it is. It's like I have these moments, and then those moments pass, and it's like, mm, no. It's a different person. <laughs> oh, y'all, it is so funny. So funny. All right, well, I will let you go. I hope you have a good rest of your Thursday. And tomorrow's Friday. We've made it through another week. And I will see you then. So take care and may the peace of the Lord be with you until I see you again. Bye.